So a few days ago, Christian gave us this. So, that got me thinking. What could it possibly do with that sound? So let's jump into the computer and let's take a listen to what I came up with. All right, guys. So here we are in the computer. And the first thing I want to show you guys, just in case you're just watching this video and you haven't heard what Christian uh, shared with us. By the way, guys, Christian Hansen is an amazing media composer who is also um, the co-founder of Spitfire Audio, which we all totally love um, and uh, know about. So anyways, let's jump right into this. So these are the bagpipes that he shared with us, the tuning bagpipes in a school, I believe. So um, I'm going to play you this sound. Maybe you want to lower your volume a little bit because it's a, it's a very screechy sound. Um, but here we go. All right, you get the idea. Um, it is, like I said, it's a very uh, loud and screechy sound. Um, so let's jump right into this. So this is the raw creation. I took very uh, selected portions of, of, of the recording. Um, let's go ahead and mute that. And uh, this is what I did. I'm going to show you um, what it sounds like. And then I'll go with, um, with what, I've, what I've done here to uh, make it the final sound. So this is what the first instrument I created, which is deep pipe. I decided to take a little section of the recording that was a little, um, was a little darker, a little something that I could um, play with. The recording actually had some uh, parts that I decided to be mids, like I said here, and uh, some parts that actually could be used for highs. For this mid section, I'm a tell you guys why I chose the section I chose for that when I get to it but let's go ahead and jump into the deep pipe or what I call the deep pipe raw um, so this is what the section sounds without any effects I'm gonna turn off this limiter as well because that's for the demo um, that you guys will be able to hear at the end of this video so uh, this is what the section sounds like without any of the processing I did <laughs> All right, that was the little section I chose for that part. Um, so let's go ahead and add all of the effects that I added to that one. And this is what I came up with. That sounds so nice. Um, I can't wait for you guys to hear it in context when you hear the demo. So this is what I did. The first thing I did um, for these, I added their own uh, reverbs and EQs and stuff like that. I didn't send them to um, a bus or anything like that because I wanted them to be just very unique. They, they have different settings somewhat. So um, for the Deep Raw, I went with uh, the amazing Fat Filter Pro R, which is incredible. Um, they I went with a preset that I fell in love with. I, d I tweaked it very little. Um, I probably added, you know, for it to be 100 as if it was going to a bus. But I used the preset called a uh, huge synth space on the Fab Filter Reverb. Um, after that, um, I went with a first EQ, cutting out some of the some of that low end, um, even though I was trying to boost that low end. But you'll see it over here. Uh, that was also with Fab Filter uh, Pro Q2. Um, I added another one that actually boosts over here by a whole lot, as you can tell. Um, then we went with Waves uh, One Knob Fatter, uh, an incredible plugin. If you guys um, don't have this from Waves, I would highly recommend it. And then I went a little crazy and I added the Vocal Synth 2. This is the Vocal Synth 2 by Isotope. Um, I went a little crazy. These are just uh, personal settings. Um, it's not a preset, but I could save it as a preset if you have the synth uh, or, or this plugin, and I could, uh, you know, give it to you guys if you want. Um, yeah, so when you add all those three, uh, or those three, yeah, right, uh, one, two, three, four, or five uh, plugins, you go from this to 
this. <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead and jump on to the next one. So this next one is the uh, mid pipes mellow, which I call the mid pipes. I don't really call, are called like that, but um, let's go ahead and unmute that. And we go here. I'm gonna show you the section I chose without any plugins. <laughs> The reason I chose this specific section for the mid was because it sounds like there's are like if there were horses galloping in the back. Um, I'll let you listen to that again. I don't know if those are horses or not, but um, they sounded like horses galloping in the back to me. So I chose that, and um, because I could find some sort of percussive. Uh, rhythm to them or something like that. Uh, you guys will be able to hear all of this in context on the demo, uh, which is going to be very helpful. But this, that was the raw sound, and this is the sound fully processed. This is what it sounds like. Not a whole lot of change there. Um, but again, I went with the uh, Pro Q2. And I, I boosted this a lot. It would probably get killed by that. But, um, hey, we were here experimenting. And then I cut up uh, a lot of the high end. I, I cut it by a whole lot, as you can see. Um, and moving on, we went to, uh, again, the reverb. And I went with the Cathedral. Um, I went with the Cathedral uh, preset. And then I adjusted a few things here and there. And I moved these things a little bit if I don't... Um, if I'm not mistaken, I did uh, adjust this a little bit. Um, then I went with this fabulous, again, uh, sub bass plugin, um, which actually worked really well. This was tweaked a whole lot. Of, um, and then I went with a little bit of a delay. So um, again, we went without any of these plugins here we went from this sound to this sound. Pretty awesome. So here we go. Last but not least, um, this one has a whole lot more. Um, and this one's for the high uh, pipes. So for this one, um, I chose a very thin part that was towards the end of the recording and this is what the sounds uh, this is what it sounds like without any plugins so you can see from uh, comparing one and the other um, this is a very thin sound that we're getting um, and then this is what the sounds like with all of the plugins on Pretty freaking loving. Um, so again, I went with my favorite EQ, as you guys can probably tell. Just did some, uh, you know, uh, low cuts here and just got rid of some stuff because I wanted it to be high. So, right, we want it to be very sparkly. So I boosted this by a whole lot, probably a lot more than what I should have, but oh well. Um, here we go again with the high synth space. Um, I kept it just as it came. I didn't boost this all the way to 100. I just, I found it perfectly. It fit perfect. For what I wanted to do, um, I added this is from Waves. I added an LA to a compressor. Um, of course, I added some uh, delay. Uh, there was a spreader here. This is uh, you know a Logic plugin that is beautiful. Um, I added Nectar. Um, this is from Isotope, and this is usually used uh, to correct pitch and to add harmonies and stuff like that. So I added some harmonies to this um, just to be, make it a little bit more melodic or whatnot. Then we have another Logic plugin that is, is the, this is called a Clip Distortion. Um, did some adjustments here and there. Uh, if you guys want to copy any of this, of course, you can just go ahead and pause the video. Um, and then we added another Logic plugin that this is Distortion. Um, 
just very basic distortion, honestly. I uh, just did a little bit of a growl with some drive and tone and pre-gain. And again, without any plugins, we go from this. To the final sound, which is this. All right, so that is pretty much it, you guys. Um, now I'm going to let you listen to the demo. And I really hope you guys enjoy this. Let me show you. Um, I'm doing uh, some writing here as well. And uh, the only thing I did add, I added a, a bus that is a fab filter with, and again, another huge uh, synth space because I'll be creating music now with this plugin. And um, I also added a tremolo here for the highs um, just to create a, a, some really crazy effect. And of course, I got to show you guys the UI I did for this. So this is um, just a little bit of scripting on, on contact. Um, you guys will be able to control the cutoff just using the mod wheel. It goes up and down. Um, as you can tell, it just has a little bit of animation there. Um, and... Uh, yeah, and if you go behind the scenes of in contact, of course, there is the the script I wrote for this. Um, and then I added some effects in here as well. I added, uh, you know, the cutoff. We wanted to uh, this to be able to control cutoff. I added some reverb and uh, some sort of distortion uh, from contact as well. So the final product has a little bit even more, I should say, um, effects. So... Here we go. Um, I'm going to let you guys listen to the demo. I hope you enjoy this. Uh, if you find it useful, if there's anything that you guys want me to show you besides what I'm showing you right now, uh, please feel free to go ahead and comment. Um, and I'll be more than happy if you guys want me to show you how to uh, do some contact scripting. You know, this is very, very basic. Um, and how I did the the graphic and the and how I did the, 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 the animation here for the cutoff and all of that. If you guys want me to show you that, uh, please go ahead and leave a comment below. Um, the instruments are very small, as you can tell here. They're 120 KB, so uh, this is an instrument that it's going to work on any computer. Um, it's not going to take a lot of RAM, so uh, barely any RAM. So here we go. I'm going to stop talking, and I'm going to let you guys listen to this. I really hope you guys enjoy this. Share it. Um, and I will see you guys very soon.